Hello and welcome to the PC Machine at Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is the free software series where I show you software that falls under the licensing agreement of freeware or open source, which means free for personal use or free for commercial use or both. Basically, today I'm going to talk about Spyware Terminator. Now, you can go to my website, PCMachine.com, and click the download section, or click the link in the sidebar, or Google it. It's up to you, however you want to download it. I just keep them in one convenient location. Select Spyware Terminator and install it like you install any other piece of software you may have downloaded before. Now, once you finish downloading it, just, of course, go down to wherever you installed it to. I, have, of course, have Chrome, so it's in the bottom left-hand corner. Then select Run to actually run the installer. It will greet you with this nice little screen of full features. Real-time protection is actually the biggest feature in this because it's not included in most anti-spywares that are free, unless, of course, you pay for them. So go ahead and click Next, and then, of course, read over the agreement. This is actually a freeware item, which means it's free for personal use, not commercial use. Agree and install. Go ahead and disable the Web Security Guard toolbar unless you really want it. Read over the features there. Personally, I don't like installing toolbars. Click Next, and, of course, it will download and install it completely. After it's downloaded and installed, it will come up with the Spyware Terminator Setup Assistant, which will ask you how you want to use this program. Of course, I'm going to use it to protect against spyware only. I'm not going to use it to protect against spyware and viruses because, as you know, in a previous video on the free software series, I talked about installing Avist Antivirus as your real-time virus protection. So I'm going to go ahead and protect against spyware. I would not recommend protecting against spyware and viruses because this is designed for more spyware protection than it is with the CLAM antivirus integration. So go ahead and select protect protecting its spyware and click next. Then we'll go ahead and do basic because we want it to automatically block and do all the detections on its own. We don't want to have to train it. Now, if you're a more advanced user, you can try this feature out, but it annoys me. So I'll go ahead and do basic and click next. Again, this is another real-time protection system that asks you if you want to train it. Uh, again, this is pretty much only for advanced users. I would leave it on check. That's what I'm going to do because I don't want to be annoyed by the spyware terminator. For more advanced protection, you are going to want to enable that. And it asks you if you want to send spyware information to the actual Crawler Spyware Central to help them out. I am feeling generous, so sure, it is anonymous, so go ahead and click Next, and then Spyware Terminator will open up. Back at the Spyware Terminator main page, of course, we have the Spyware scan information, which tells me the next scheduled scan is tomorrow, so I'm going to edit that. I don't like scheduled scans, so I'll go back to System Summary and save the changes. Real-time protection basically asks you whether it's enabled or not. We didn't enable HIPS because it's very intrusive and annoying. And update info basically asks you or tells you whether you're updated or not. Under the spyware scan, you can do the fast spyware scan, which I always recommend at first. When you find spyware, then you can do the full scan because it takes quite a bit longer. You can check your reports, your quarantine, and your updates. Real-time protection, uh, of course, that's basically for disabling or re-enabling your real-time protection. Or if you decide to try out HIPS, which it is more security, but you have to basically tell it what to do so you have to know what to say to block and what not to block and things like that so it's a lot more interactive uh, but that's entirely up to you for internet protection I'll go ahead and save that for internet protection uh, this is actually for a cookie scanner I don't use web security guard don't have a lot of experience with it so if you do go ahead and leave a, co a comment below I'd like to know how, what you think about it uh, the tools basically let you set your start page and your search page and your search bar in internet explorer because that's one of the most hijacked portions from spyware and of course in the settings you can disable the spyware terminator icon and system tray uh, update or icon system tray and things like that basic system changes that you would expect in any kind of spyware software. Now again, this is a great piece of software because it allows real-time protection. If I go down here in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see I have the Spyware Terminator updater running in the background and the Spyware Terminator real-time shield, and that is not offered by Malwarebytes or by Super Anti Spyware unless you buy their commercial versions. So this offers some additional protection that you don't get with those other two, and it runs great with an antivirus running in the background as well. So this is definitely worth checking out if you haven't tried it before. It is Spyware Terminator. They've been around for quite a while. I think their last reviews are four out of five stars, which is really good for free software. And of course, it's free for personal, not commercial use. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have anything else to add about Spyware Terminator, your thoughts, your opinions, what experience you've had with it, leave it in the comments below. Thanks again.